Are you thinking of baking something this weekend and you're thinking, you know what, I would love to try some different and more healthy different flours in your recipe. I'm Dr. Jen Anniker with Anniker Clinics of Chiropractic. I wanted to dive into four different uh, flours that are oftentimes used for baking and tell you a little bit about what they are, what some of the health benefits are. And so the first one that's probably one of the more popular ones, you'll see it a lot definitely in paleo recipes, uh, is almond flour. And I found it interesting, you know, there's almond flour and there's almond meal. And I didn't realize exactly what the difference uh, of the consistency, what made it the difference. And basically almond flour, they blanch uh, the almond in order to remove the skins and then grind it. And almond meal, they do not uh, blanch it. So it does have the skins on it and they grind it. So that's a little, a little bit more coarse. But almond flour, one of the great uh, benefits of it is to do with your heart. And so it decreases blood pressure. It also cre decreases LDL, which is your bad cholesterol. It decreases insulin resistance. It also has a lot of health benefits from protein to fat to carbs, fiber, vitamin E, manganese, magnesium, copper, and uh, phosphorus. So you can see how almond flour is, you know, why it's a popular choice. The next one, again, that you'll see a lot in paleo recipes is more of uh, your coconut flour. So coconut is very popular in paleo recipes. Uh, coconut flour, the one thing that I will say is that coconut flour uh, absorbs moisture really well, which can mean that it may, your recipe may be a little bit more dry or crumbly. So you may want to add in a little bit more, uh, more liquid. But the great part about using coconut flour is that it aids in metabolism, helps with blood sugar, heart health, fiber, and again, decreases LDL or the bad cholesterol. Now the next one, I don't have a picture of, but uh, you might have seen it before. I think it's a newer one that's come out on the forefront that I see more now in grocery stores, which is cassava flour. Cassava flour is actually taken from a root, a yucca root, um, that is in South America, Africa, and Asia. And this has more of a nutty flavor. Um, it's And I've used it before, and I don't think the nutty flavor is overpowering, but you definitely taste it. And so it also, you know, it's a gluten-free option as well. All of these are gluten-free. It has fiber in it. It's low in calories. Um, and it has antioxidant uh, properties. It pre helps to prevent cancer, eye health, skin health. So you can see why this flower is becoming a little bit more popular. So the cassava, the root, um, it can also, that plant can also be used to make tapioca. And that's the last flower that I have, which is the tapioca flower. Um, tapioca flower, like I said, it's made from the cassava plant, <clears throat> but it is bleached and it's extracted uh, the starch of the cassava root. So this, a lot of times, I use it a little bit more. It'll be in recipes, kind of your gravy type recipes. That's what, what I use it for. I know I have used it in baking like muffins as well, but it can be a thickener um, for puddings or mousse or uh, sweet sauces. So that is some of the ways that you might find uh, tapioca flour. So next time you're baking, take these flours into consideration. Maybe even just get on Pinterest or you know Google some different recipes that are that uh, food that you're wanting just using more healthy ingredients.